Hey there, this is Adam Lane from Pocketnow.com, and I'm going to show you something new about Windows Phone 8. Let's check it out. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new Xbox Games Hub, uh, the Music and Videos Hub, and the new Windows Phone 8 Store. So first off, here's the tiles. I expanded them, and we can have the full width tiles. Let's go to Games. And you see this is as a new design, and we see the collection. There is no search if you have a ton of games here, and they don't show up in the programs listing search. So that might be an issue. We can see the Xbox Extras is still a separate download, so that'll go launch a new app uh, for changing the avatar. But we have some new animations for our avatar here. And yeah, that's he's got a message. That's kind of an old one, but if we shake him, there we go. Now, oh, you broke the glass. <laughs> if you shake him hard enough, he might fall down. And now he's going to the prop. Here we have the next panel, and there's an Xbox Smart Glass button. That's quick access to that. Again, it's an app that you have to download separately. There's your friends. There's your game store. And here's a nice new feature, the notifications bar panel rather. Uh, we see the friends who are sending messages or inviting you to games or maybe it's your turn or there's a message or here's a beacon notification. They all show up here now which is really nice. And there's your spotlight. Just the usual stuff and back to collection. Now let me show you how quickly uh, one of these programs opens. There's Gun Brothers and if you've used this on uh, Windows Phone 7.5, you may remember it takes a very long time to launch. But you just saw that happened really quickly. Next up, let's look at the Xbox Music and Videos Hub. So here's my tile. I'm going to tap that. And we have the uh, music collection. There's your history. And here's new. And I was kind of surprised to see all this stuff show up in the Music and Videos Hub uh, just by signing into my Microsoft account. I didn't connect it to a computer or anything. They just started appearing there. And the reason for that is we have a cloud collection now. So let's look at songs and up here at the top I can filter by what's on the phone or what's in my cloud collection. So let's see. Now you see that little tiny icon there, the little dot with the uh, waves around it? That means this is going to have to stream in order to play it. So all these songs here are things that I've bought on uh, Zune over the past couple years or so. And I can just tap it and it'll start playing over the internet. So there's our, our music player. Looks pretty much the same. But we have a new menu here. Uh, there's more in the store. You can download it. I can save it as a playlist and I can share it. And there's NFC. So I can share that song via NFC. I can share it via messaging. And here's Xbox. If I hit that, it'll uh, start playing on the Xbox over there. Of course, there's music. And here's one that I've been uh, looking for, Social Networks. So say I want to share this song, I can, uh, there's a link to it, I can type a message with it, I can choose which social networks I want it to go to, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook, and I can even choose who's going to be able to view it on Facebook. Now if I go back, we see the uh, background changed based on what artist I'm listening to. So while a song is playing, if I go to my tile, look at this cool animation. I got the artist uh, going on in the background, I got text flying over it, and it's pretty cool. However, if I stop the music, it goes back to this really boring green icon. That's different from uh, previous Windows Phone uh, music tiles that used to keep the uh, artist image there which is kind of unfortunate because it looks really bad this way. Now let's go back to the music library. And 
and here's playlists. Now this is a playlist that I saved on the Xbox 360 uh, using Xbox Music and it did sync the playlist but it didn't sync any of the songs in the playlist so I think that's a bug. Of course you still have videos and podcasts here. Videos do not sync with my cloud collection so anything that I bought on Zune or Xbox Video does not automatically show up here which is unfortunate. And here's the store. So we can choose apps, games, music, and podcasts. Notably missing is videos. I was kind of hoping for that, but no, you don't get videos. So there's all the different panels. Now let's go to apps, and there's something new here. We have kind of tile shapes for the categories, and here's a new one, picks for you. This is going to use um, kind of your usage that it keeps track of and uh, you know what other apps you download and it tells you the reason why it thinks you might like this app. So here's one that says uh, a bunch of my friends really like this Fuse app. It tells me the names of them and so maybe I should try that too. And we see others that say uh, you know you downloaded the Microsoft Store app maybe you'll like this. So that's a pretty neat feature. And there's your categories and spotlight. Now that picks for you is also in the games store. There it is. So maybe it'll suggest some games that I might like. And it tells me uh, which of my friends really like these programs. Those are friends on Facebook. And now to the music store. Oddly, there is no picks for you button. Now that picks uh, feature kind of originated with the uh, Zune, which allowed you to, you know, find music that you might like based on what music you listen to. Unfortunately, it did not make it to Windows Phone 8. And podcast does not have a uh, panoramic thing, but of course they're there, and you can subscribe to them. So that's a look at the new Xbox Games Hub, the Xbox Music and Video Hub, and the new Windows Phone 8 Store. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and that's it for now.